Alrighty, today we've got to do some maintenance on the go-kart. The chain has been slipping off you know, the second you apply a bit of throttle. There's way too much slack in that and that's wound as far back as we can. Uh, so what we're going to do is push the motor forwards using these two adjusting bolts. I've already loosened the ones underneath there, there's four. Can't even see these two um, under there. So we're going to push it all the way forward. We're going to remove a link from the chain using this handy little contraption. Came in the mail today. And then retention. Now I've just got to finish loosening these up to shift the engine forward. And then we'll uh, see if we've got enough chain to take a link out. We've wiggled the motor as far forward as we can, and that's given us a stupid amount of slack on the chain. But whether or not that's enough slack to entirely remove a link, we shall see. All right, so we're removing the master link there. Yep, I've already got that piece off. Yep. Alright, so there's our master link there. Take that out. Alright, now. There's literally nowhere for me to balance this. Um, so I'm going to measure the chain up and see if I can remove a link. Chain breaker tool. Cost me like 35 bucks. This is worth the investment. Yep. Uh, so the chain's back on. We had to loosen these right off so I could uh, tilt the motor uh, to help us get it on. So some might argue it's a bit tight, which it probably is. But do you know, we won't know until we tighten it up. So I think at the moment it's still slipping off because it's misaligned. All right, so before I spin the wheel anymore and risk breaking something, we'll get these uh, engine mounts tightened down again. And we'll see how we go. That's probably not a good thing.
Uh, well, it works. I may need to look at that clutch though because it's very too tight. I just think, you know, cheap Chinese go-kart, the chain was never going to stay on by itself. And although we're working, it is a bit crap. Try and get on a, a good angle for that clutch. Is smoking pretty badly. So I think I'm either going to have to try and pop that chain back together and try and retention properly, or oh, that smells too. Alrighty, quick update. Uh, I decided to go ahead and rebuild the chain, which I did. Um, there really is just too much slack on it uh, to drive with. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm raising the height of the motor at the back, which will, you know, bring the tension up on the chain this way. Uh, I tried just putting a couple of washers in there, but the height wasn't enough. So basically all we're doing is throwing an extra bolt in the bottom there. Uh, throw the washers back on, put it all back together, and hopefully that gives us the tension we need. Um, you know, I got excited at the, the washers, I thought, you know, it's finally going to work, but I didn't get any further than I did before. You know, the second you apply uh, a bit of throttle, it throws it off. And uh, while we're on the topic of throttle, I got in there and adjusted the throttle limit screw all the way back. Now it bangs and pops and backfires as it hits the governor. And governor, you know, hits a certain rev limit and brings it back down again. Very amusing, uh, but it'll be a moot point unless I can sort this chain out. Um, I'm running out of spare parts, uh, so it might just be I have to go and get some longer bolts and some actual spaces, and we'll start again and see how we go. Go, go, go! You put your foot down, didn't you? Uh, no, just turn the wheel. Uh, turn the wheel. The wheel turns like all the way down.
Tom, yay! I can't believe I saw you open the wheels! I can't believe the wheels went in the air either. How was that? That's why you wear a helmet! That's right. I need my helmet on.